Here we are, day eight, and I've got uh, my very good friends, the Wagamuths, here for us today. This is Bobby and Robert Wagamuth. Robert and Bobby are giants in the world of Christian publishing, and uh, uh, they've been helping us since day one with all the publishing arm of the movie. You know, we're making a movie here, but at the same time, we're publishing about nine different publications, right? right? And Robert is in charge of that. So they've been working very diligently with Patrick writing a book. Um, they're doing that behind the scenes while we're making the movie. So I asked them to come and do the devotional day. So take it away, guys. Well, um, we enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I mean, it's pretty much we are in his courts today. I've asked Robert and our daughter Missy to join us and because we enter his courts with praise and this movie is about prayer, we wanted to share with you a song you probably know about prayer. Come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand, just the sheep of his hand. Amen. There you go. Very nice. I would love for you to just look at each other. Just take a look at each other right now. I have a name for us today. This is Gideon's Army. This is Gideon's Army. There's a wonderful story in the book of Judges back in the Old Testament. Judges 6 and Judges 7. The story of Gideon. Who, who actually had a self-esteem problem. He didn't think very much of himself. And God comes to him and says, I have an assignment for you. He said, I want you to take your army and defeat the Midianites. I want you to cut back your troops. You have too many people. And he said, wait a minute. You're coming to the wrong captain. Go to those guys. They're the ones that are out outnumbering us three to one. God said, no, I'm, I'm at the right place because if you take 30,000 men into battle, they'll take credit for themselves. So I want to cut you back. So God had this assignment for them. It had to do with drinking out of a stream. And God said, the ones who do it right, you keep. The rest send home. 300 men did it right. And now it's Gideon's army, look around. Everybody knew that it was God who gave them the victory. There's no way that 300 men could defeat 110,000 men except by the power of God. And you can read the story in your Bible. It's there, it's amazing. But God said to Gideon, I want you to use a trumpet and a vase and a torch. We'll call that music and sound and light. That's what we're doing here. Even though you're sick, when people see how strong and brave you are, well, it kind of makes them Take a look at their own lives. But Tyler, there is a glorious truth, the truth that you can show them. God is truth. And it's your job, Tyler. It's your job as God's warrior to point them toward him. Wouldn't that be a wonderful victory? The message for Gideon's army is, it doesn't make any difference what our numbers are versus anybody else. God is here because he wants the credit for it. It's not about the numbers, it's not about the ratios, it's not about the size of our army. It's about our commitment to the Lord and to His faithfulness to take us into victory. And when it's over, we'll know that it was only His power that gave us the victory. Gideon's army, how's that sound? Yay. Right. We're telling a very big story about a very big God. Not because of who we are, but we're Gideon's army and God will be the one to empower us and this film to make a difference. And really it's about hope and eternity because this is um, a, a picture of what life is really about and that is the relationships 
um, the relationship with God and praying to God is just such a powerful force. And I just love how God uses the tiniest light to shine in the darkness and it just it's such a powerful story of when we feel weak we have a big God and he wants to do big things he wants to do something wonderful and that is really the message of this movie it sure is let's close with a singing prayer Jesus we just want to thank you Jesus we just want to thank you Jesus, we just want to thank you. Thank you for being so good. Take our lives and let us be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take our moments and our day. Let it flow in ceaseless praise. Let it flow in ceaseless praise. Amen. Amen.